Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Eva. So this week I'm going to be planning with an ad loop kit that I haven't used in a very, very long time. The kit actually didn't come with a washi because I think I just bought the full boxes for this kit. So I chose some from my own collection. These two are both from Simply Gilded. One of them is just a red one with a silver foil. And then the bottom one is just a Stardust that has silver and gold foil. I am super late in recording my voiceovers. Life just got really busy in my personal life. There was just a lot of things going on, especially after our move. I'm usually a pretty fast person to unpack my items. I've moved a lot in my lifetime, um, but it was just really chaotic and a lot of things were happening at once that I couldn't find the time to be my, by myself to record these voiceovers. I try to be more active on my Instagram, so definitely follow me on there. Sometimes I do, if I have time, I try to update you guys on what is happening on my posts as well as my stories. So if you're interested, go ahead and follow me on Plan With Eva. And that's usually where you, you would be getting more updates on what's happening and why I would be absent from putting up any more videos. Now, the week I'm planning is actually the week of the 20th to the 26th of July. And although my boyfriend's, um, my fiance's birthday was actually the following week after this, his birthday's on the 27th, I actually wanted to use this kit this week instead because the following weeks after this, we were just finishing up on a lot of our house. Um, we had a lot of painting to do and some fixing up to do and just moving in to do. So I wanted to save some kits that I got from Whimsical Plans um, to use for those weeks. And since I wouldn't be able to use it for his birthday week, I decided to do it the week before since I didn't have a particular kit to be using anyway. And I've been saving this odd loop kit for a very long time. I was supposed to use it for Endgame, but I don't remember what happened that I didn't end up using it. I, don't, I think I just planned poorly where I didn't end up using the kit on the day that I actually went to see Endgame. So here we are. This week I decided to use black um, headers for all throughout the spread. Instead of the three colors I usually decide between, I decided to just use black for the whole kit. I thought that would make everything more cohesive and kind of fit everything together and make it all blend together really well and match the bottom washi as well. I really liked how it turned out. And on top of it, I actually put a header overlay that just has hearts um, in the silver foil spread throughout. I'm going to finish putting the rest of my base down. I just wanted to talk a little bit because of my lack of videos. I'm realizing more and more as these days go on, especially with how this year has been, the more my mood is changing, it seems that my planning changes along with it. I think that's why I've never really finished off a whole planner completely. I've been planning for maybe the last six years, I want to say that that's when I think I start first started um, with my Kate Spade planner, um, and then now to the Erin Condren. Um, it's been a really long journey, but I've just never really had a planner that's completed a full year. And this year, I was really, really hoping that this would be the first year I would actually complete one. But considering the state of the, fear, the affairs of the world and me personally, there's just been a lot of things going on that I sadly, it takes a toll on me. And for me to plan, it, it usually takes a while for me to plan. It's usually my relaxing thing that I like to do, but it also takes a lot out of me. And especially when I record my videos, it takes an even longer amount of time because I feel like I put more thought into what I'm doing, which isn't the best feeling in the world because I'm always second guessing myself on what I think looks best. I always end up loving my spreads, but I've realized more and more that when I am feeling more down or anxious or stressed, that's usually when I'm not picking up my planner as much and I'm more and more behind on my spread. So if you see lack of videos, that's most likely what's happening in my life. And it's exactly what has been happening. It's been very, very stressful for me for the last three months. It's been a very exciting year because lots of things have changed for me. But also there's been a lot of downfall as well. And that usually comes with everything. And usually I'm pretty optimistic and able to pick myself up but it's been getting a little bit harder and harder to do that so I've taken I wanted to finish off these next um this video and the next video I wanted to finish off those spreads but after that I really wanted to just take some time for myself and just plan for myself just because I really needed it um to not feel the pressure to put something up as well as to record something that looked great Anyway, I just wanted to explain myself a little bit. If you guys are a subscriber of mine, I really appreciate it. And I really do hope you guys stick around because I will try my best to get back on my foot. 
Um, but right now I'm moving on to the full boxes. I'm just picking out where the places I want everything to be. There was a lot of red in the kit, so I wanted to make sure I spread it out, especially since I have the Simply Gilded washi banner on the bottom. So the first thing I did was pick the top box that I wanted at the top corner, and I decided to use the Samuel Jackson cartoon at the top. Um, the next ones I did were all the ones with the red, so the Spider-Man, the Iron Man, the... I'm forgetting her name, but the one that Scarlett Johansson was, and then Captain America. All four of those had a lot of red in them, so I just made sure to spread them out evenly. I didn't have any particular places for the other ones, I just kind of randomly placed it wherever I pleased. My favorite Avenger is probably Iron Man, most likely Iron Man, and then it's a close second with Spider-Man. I love the relationship that they have in the movies, and I just love Robert Downey Jr. and the person that he portrays. I think it's hilarious, sexy, and just all-around humble and awesome. Whenever I watched any of his Iron Man movies that are solely Iron Man, I always thought that those were the most interesting movies out of all the ones that I've seen before, out of all the other Marvel movies, I should say, that I've seen before. Definitely know, let me know down below which one is your favorite Avenger. I feel like a lot of people usually say Captain America, and I'm curious about this too. I think I mostly base it off of the actor that's playing the person, so I really like Robert Downey Jr. out of all the people that play the other characters, and I wonder if anybody else is the same as me. I placed all the full boxes and now I'm finishing off the rest of my glitter headers in the middle of the spread and adding the heart silver foil glitter header overlay on top of that as well. While I'm finishing up here and moving to the sidebar, I thought I would talk a little bit more about the planning community as of right now. Lately on my feed, I've been see seeing a lot of planners that have really, really beautiful spreads, and I wish I could kind of convey what they're trying to convey. A lot of mandalas, I think that's what they're called, or doilies. I've been seeing a lot of those, but I don't think they really fit with my planning style. It looks really gorgeous in the girls that I've seen it with. Um, like Gathered Plans, I think she's one that's really um, great at layering, as well as Sue Ann Lay Plans, I think is her name. Both of them do really gorgeous spreads, but I don't think I would ever be able to do layering like that, just because I feel like I always record every single thing on my planner. There's so many things that have been happening lately that I don't think I could minimize the small things that have been I have been doing in my spreads. So I really give credit to those girls and they do have YouTube channels if you want to check them out. I will definitely be sure to link them down below. Definitely give them some love because I really love looking at their spreads, but I just really don't think I would be ever ever be able to pull that off. I'm starting to remember another reason why I hate voiceovers. It's that I get so out of breath from doing these and I don't know if it's just my asthma or if anyone else that does voiceovers feel the same way, but I just always feel like I'm nonstop talking that I just get out of breath, but I've moved on to the si sidebar now, and like I said, this kit didn't come with a lot of the stickers, so I pulled a lot from my own stash. The washi tape that I used on this, that's the red and the kind of yellow color, both of those were from the kit, but it did not have a habit tracker, and it also didn't have the weekly box, so I ended up pulling some from my extra stickers book, and lately I've been doing it where it's a full box, a habit tracker, another um, weekly tracker, and then another habit tracker as well as a final full box. If you look at my previous spreads, I used to keep the habit trackers together, but I started to realize that they look kind of chunky that way, and I like the look of them more spread out better. So lately I've been kind of following this um, way of planning for my sidebar pretty consistently. Now I'm moving on to the weekend banner, and this one's really unique. Outloop usually does pretty unique weekend banners. This one just has all of the cartoons um, lined up for the weekend, and I just really liked how that looked, so I just placed it at the end there. The kit also came with some random deco stickers, so there's this hammer, there's the arrow, and I just decided to add them sporadically throughout the top, as well as since I had some stars on the bottom from the... Stardust washi. I decided to add some stars to the top. I actually didn't have any star kind of um, as deco, so I ended up taking, I think these were headers that I have had from another um, sampler sheet, and instead of using them as headers, I just decided to cut them up. 
these ones that I'm showing right now. So these are from Zadie stickers, it looks like. So some of them are chunked together like that. So I kept them like that. And then the bottom has some headers. And I decided to just cut them up so I could sporadically spread some of the stars out. To the full boxes this week, I actually didn't add that much foil more on top of it. So I'm glad I was able to find some way to add some foil to the top of the spread. And then to the bottom of the spread with the washi at the bottom. I think it added a little bit something into the spread. And since I has, have foil throughout the spread as I daily plan, I think it really turned out really nice. Moving on to the daily plans, first I woke up and I decided to go to the Family Dollar and Lowe's. I went to those different places just to get some cleaning supplies. My fiance's parents were coming to help me to just clean the house a little bit. This was right after we closed it, I believe, and the house was kind of left in a mess. There was a lot of things that needed to be cleaned about it, so I think I just went to get some towels, some buckets, and some soap, and some this dishwasher soap as well as some things to clean the laundry with. Like I said, I just spent a majority of the day cleaning with the in-laws, so I just used this Glam Planner Cleaning Girl to mark that. This video and the next one you're going to see that I'm going to actually be making a lot of visits to Lowe's and Home Depot and just a lot of trips just for things that I need to fix up the place. So afterwards, I actually went to get a Starbucks run and I actually had to go to Lowe's again as well as we made a trip to Home Depot. Um, Lowe's is where we decided to get our refrigerator, I believe. So we ended up going there just um, after my fiance got off of work. And we went to Home Depot just to get some more items that we were needing. After we did all that, we also were able to go on a grocery run, run to Jewels. So I used a little shopping cart from Once More With Love. And inside of the cart, I'm actually going to write Jewels just to remember that I was able to make a trip to Jewels that day. Moving on to Tuesday, it was my friend's birthday, so I just marked it with this little label as well as a birthday cake that I found from this extra sampler that I had. I think these stickers were all from a monthly that I just kept just in case I decided to use it. That day I also slept in, so I wanted to mark that with a page flag as well as this little girl that's sleeping on a couch. This whole week and uh, weeks to come afterwards, I made a lot of trips to the new place, so you're going to see that a lot. This day, I was cleaning a lot at the new place again, and to mark it, I marked it with the same girl that I used previously, except I was cleaning on my own this time, and our thermostat seemed to be not working. The AC was not working either, so it was super hot, so I just made a call to Honeywell to see if they knew what was going on, and it didn't really end up helping much, so... Sadly, the call, I waited a long time for someone to respond and it didn't help at all. But um, luckily, later on, it does get fixed. It's just that it, I think it's another week or two that I have to deal with the ACB being broken until it actually gets fixed. Before we moved in, we had a couple questions for the management of this condo that we're living in. So I actually marked that I did some emails um, to the management this day. I marked it with this little sticker that's from Crafts by Tally, I believe. 
the planner before the planner spread that I did before this, I also mentioned that it was going to be my last car payment this month and I didn't realize it, but it was the week before this that I found that out and this week was the week that I actually had to pay my last car payment and that was really exciting so I wanted to use a little um, fancier half box. I use this one that's from here at Right Designs and I use two stickers to celebrate that it's our my last car payment. I used the Once More With Love Really Happy Munchkin as well as this car that I just had in my extra sticker stash. It feels so nice to just not have to worry about just one extra payment that's coming out of your bank account and that was really nice. Sadly, from the moment I am right now, I'm just finding out a lot about my car that I'm going to be needing to fix. Like something happened with the tires and that's another inconvenience that's going to be need to be dealt with sadly so i'm really glad that i got to pay off my car but there's still a lot of things that i need to do with it after i was able to finish some cleaning at the new place i decided to go on a target run and i received a, received a lot of happy mail that day so i actually used this to-do header but instead of using the to-do i cover it up with the happy mail sticker that's from once more with love if nobody has told you before, I will tell you now that moving is a very, very stressful thing. I have been with my fiance for the last 12 years now, and we do get into fights as normal couples do, but something about moving into a new place just puts more stress on people. So we did have a little fight in the evening, but like I write later on, we fought and we made up. So it wasn't too bad, and I like short fights, although I am one to hold a grudge, and I am very stubborn. I'm very appreciative that my fiancé is the opposite of that, and he is very forgiving and understanding. He knows what ticks me off, and he tries to understand as best as he can, but I know how I can be as well, and we try to navigate each other, and luckily this fight didn't turn into more than one day. Moving on to Wednesday, I've been wearing some colored contacts. I just wanted to mark it so I know how long I've been wearing them. These um, contacts I used are to mark the first day that I used the Scandi gray contacts that I own. And after that, I just got ready for a little bit because I was heading out that day. And usually when I do go out, I like to dress myself up a little bit just to make myself feel better. Um, this day, I was actually going to the Genius Bar at Apple just to see what was going on with my iMac. I've had an iMac for the last five years, I think, and it was having some issues at the beginning of quarantine, and it kind of fixed itself a little bit where it wasn't doing the problem anymore, which was shutting down randomly. But as the months went on, it was just having that problem again whenever I tried to do too much on my computer. And most of the time, especially now, since I'm at home, I'm going to be needing my computer for school, and I really didn't want that to be an issue when school started again. So I took my iMac to the Genius Bar, and sadly, it was a super rainy day, and I had to lug my iMac, which, if you've seen it before, it's really heavy, and I, was, I put it into the casing that it came in, but still, it was super heavy. And the store that I was going to, there wasn't any parking close by, so you, I actually had to park that probably two blocks away. And lugging that big thing two blocks to the store was just really inconvenient. And since right now we're during COVID times, it was at a point when um, they weren't letting everybody into the store. So if you had a, an appointment, which I did, um, there was a separate line for you, but you still needed to wait in line to wait to be called and all of that. So I had to lug my iMac onto, into the line and just wait for my name to be called when it was my turn. And when I got into line and I was complaining to my family about it, my cousins and we have a group chat, I was complaining to them about it. And my, one of my cousins actually reminded me that I had a wagon in my car, which I usually use for groceries. And I it was newly bought since um, the we bought the new house. So I completely forgot that I had that, but that would have been so convenient to use to lug my iMac instead of me just lifting it up. I was there for a decent amount of time and my iMac has been functioning a little bit better but I think it's still having issues that I will need to figure out later on but I was able to get back home safely and that night we were able to eat some delicious dinner. I think looking over here we made some Korean barbecue and tacos and I always create, crave Korean barbecue. Um, I just love Korean meat so much, bulgogi and um, pork belly and all of that grilling it is just so delicious to me so I ended up writing that we had a delicious dinner and we were starting a new show which was called Indian Matchmaker 
I really love putting personal pictures into planner spreads so i really really loved how this turned out i had to take my dog to the vet in the morning on thursday so i ended up using this picture that's from erin condren actually and i put the vet appointment sticker right on top of it to kind of stick it down a little bit more it's a super old sticker so the um the stickiness wasn't um really sticking on it anymore so i actually had to go in with some glue stick to make sure that it stayed down while my dog was at the vet, I went to Target and I also did my laundry and he didn't have anything wrong with him during the vet. It was just kind of his annual checkup as well as since he's a senior, he had to go do some tests for being a senior. And while he was doing that, they were able to take care of him. So I was able to go do some of the errands that I needed to, to do. When I was at Target, I also saw these press-on nails, which I've been seeing a lot going around on YouTube. So I decided to buy some just to try them on, and that, that, that night, I was able to have some time to do them. So I just chose this little sticker to mark that it was my first time trying on press-on nails. Moving on to Friday was another one of my friend's birthdays, so I marked it with the same label that I had before, as well as another of the birthday icon stickers that I had before. And if you've been following me, following me long enough, you would know that I'm actually one of those weirdos that like to keep track of the month anniversaries. We don't really celebrate anything big, but I do like to mark it in my calendar. I think it's always nice to have something to look forward to. And knowing that it's our month anniversary really lifts up my spirits a little bit and makes the day just feel a little bit brighter. Um, this day was our month anniversary right before our 12 years, so that was really significant too. I made myself some Dalgona coffee that day, and since the coffee sticker was looking over the glitter header a little bit, I decided to cut it off just to make sure that the glitter header was able to be seen. This day I added a day extender just because I noticed that I had a lot more stuff that I needed to mark down. So inside of the, on top of the extender, I decided to do this half box that's marbled. I had to go to a car emissions test to get my car sticker. And while I was there, it's really close to the suburbs, so I was right next to a Jollibee and I decided to stop in. I recently had the Jollibee, the mango pie that they're famous for, and I've never had it before because I usually don't like um, warm fruit, but it's actually really, really delicious, and the crisp on the pie is really, really good. So I actually got some for me as well as some for my sister, um, and that day since she's close by, I decided to drop some off for her. After I got back from my sister's, I also had to get some gas. I went to Target and I also went to Home Depot. Um, we have an in-unit in our new place, so I was able to do some laundry there as well. When I got back home, since we are not moving to the new place yet, I made myself a smoothie. So I just marked it with this little hexagon or pentagon, I mean, that I had from my extra stickers book, as well as this smoothie sticker. This night was when I had my life a little bit more together, I guess, because I was able to film a video as well as upload a video as well. And I just used some Once More With Love munchkins to mark both of them. I just kind of layered them on top of each other and then used these Saucy Stickers Co. Um, scripts to mark that I filmed a video as well as uploaded a video. Moving on to Saturday, um, this morning I like to get ready, so I used this little label and as well as some makeup brushes just to show that I was able to get ready for a little bit in the morning. Another day of cleaning with the in-laws, except this time my fiancé was also there since he doesn't have work usually on the weekends. I used the same Glam Planner Girl to mark that we were doing some cleaning at the new place. And I used the same kind of half box marble box that I was using since it took up a majority of our day. That day we also went to Sherwin-Williams Paint just to see what kind of paint that we they had so that we can choose which one we would want to use for the new place. The way our new place is, some of the walls were 
different from other walls in the rooms of the house so we just wanted to make it consistent and keep it all one color so we decided to just go with the basic white and make sure all of the rooms that since the rooms were already white that we wanted to make our living room the same color as well we were also waiting for a carpet consultation this day the carpet that we were left with were really stained and dirty from the old owners. So we got some new carpet and we were getting a consultation from Home Depot this day. So we were just waiting for them. We were able to do McDonald's for lunch that day as well. So I just marked it with the paper and milk burger and fries. And I marked the marked the Home Depot carpet consultation with a little house house icon. At the end of the night, there were some personal things going on, so I just used this angry little Coffee Monster sticker co-sticker just to mark that and mark it in my planner. And at the end of the night, I was able to hang out at my friend's house. We had a lot of takeout that we were eating, so I just used this little Once More With Love little chubby belly to kind of mark that, as well as a little shot icon because we were also taking some shots that day, which were much needed after a long week work of a long week full of work. Moving on to Sunday, Sundays are usually days that me and my fiance like to make breakfast brunch at home. We've been really perfecting our breakfast burritos. I just used this little sticker from Helen from Coffee Monster Sticker Coffee Monster Sticker to mark that we made a breakfast burrito. After that, we were prepping a lot of the painting work that we were going to be doing. I used a house icon that I used a day similar to the one that I used the day before. And it was actually a fail because we were supposed to get a quote from Empire. They were supposed to meet us that day, but they didn't end up coming at all. Um, we also went to our fi my fiancé's family's house to just eat a birthday lunch dinner. Um, both me and my fiancé are Chinese, and in the Chinese calendar, there's actually a different date for your birthday that usually differs from your American birthday. So since his was coming up on the calendar, we ended up going to his house just to celebrate with his family. Whenever we're down by his family, families or my families we usually love to get my favorite milk tea which is from a place called hollow jasmine and we ended up making a stop there just because i really wanted some milk tea and at the end of the night there were just some pers more personal things that were happening that i don't want to get into but i just wanted to mark it in my planner so i can remember for myself um i always like to mark my skincare and my medication for my dog um, on the habit trackers for this week I was doing really well and I was able to do most of my skincare and my medication for my dog I was being pretty consistent with doing it as the weeks went on toward getting closer to my moving day I actually get more and more worse at m making sure that I'm doing both of those things finally I marked on my meals and I used this hazel sticker um, fork and knife fork and spoon to make sure that I mark all the meals that I had that week and here I'm just showing you my final spread before I finish writing it out. And this is how my final spread looks with all of writing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm going to leave you guys with this little wiggle and showing you guys a few close-ups. Um, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. I hope you guys stay with me a little bit longer to see my next video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or week wherever you guys are. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.